we'll go ahead, make your way to your mat if you're not there. And in your cozy seat, cross-legged or sitting on shins, you're welcome to sit on top of a prop to elevate the hips. And you might find that under the sits bones or between the legs and just um, still under the sits bones, but finding legs wide or knees together. Just whatever feels good in your body. And letting the eyelids flutter close. Begin to notice any sensations that stand out to you. Maybe from prior activity or something that you carry with you. Just noticing how it feels in your body. Notice if you're leaning forward or back, left or right, and draw yourself to center. Send the heart up a little bit. Draw the base of the skull slightly back. Navel in. Deep inhale, fill up. And deep exhale. Noticing how you're breathing today. Breathing like you this morning, take another deep inhale, biggest inhale you've taken all day. And deep clearing, exhale. Slowing it down, inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling, six, five, four, three, two, one, keeping that six count breath at any time that you want to slow down or feel you lose your breath. Inhale, send palms up overhead, reach up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Palms touch, exhale, palms to heart center. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Gently flutter eyelids open or keep them soft. I invite you to set an intention for today's practice. And I'll offer the intention of just being present in the moment. It can be harder than it sounds, and we often take the moment for granted. Add on any dedication or intention, any other thoughts. Wrapping up our thoughts. Inhale, send palms up overhead. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling, let hands land at your sides. Counting in your head. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And feel the side of the neck releasing, left side elongating. Option to send the left fingertips out to the side. Noticing if that changes anything, feeling the sensation radiate down the arm, maybe in the chest or shoulder. And gently send the right palm up overhead, place it just above the left ear, guiding right shoulder, right ear closer to right shoulder. And relax the left hand. Breathing like you here, just relaxing into it, letting gravity guide the ear closer to the shoulder. And then your next inhale, press your head into your hand, come upright, release your right palm. You can open your eyes or keep them closed. Slowly look left, slow, steady, no motion. And guiding your gaze to center, looking right. Notice if you begin to feel dizzy here, you're welcome to keep your chin forward and maybe find some gentle, slower motion in any direction. And one more, looking right, coming back to center, drop the right, left ear to left shoulder, right ear lifts, and then notice how this feels here. Maybe you stay right here. Option to send the right arm out to the side. And those of you who've joined us late, we're just doing our neck releases. So thank you for being here. Let the left ear fall heavier towards left shoulder. 
not forcing anything, just letting gravity guide you, keeping a soft jaw. And slowly send the left hand up overhead, press it just above the right ear, guiding left ear closer to the left shoulder. Noticing how that changes any sensation, depth. And slowly on your next inhale, press your head into your hand, come up right, release your palm. Slowly look right. And if that motion makes you feel dizzy, you can keep your gaze forward and find some smaller movements, loosening up the neck any direction. One more no motion, just slowly warming up the cervical spine. And now we'll all find that yes motion, chin to chest, slowly look up, drop the base of full back. And if it feels okay with the skull back, you can slowly find some half circles with your chin in the air. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands. And draw your chin back in this summer. Find any intuitive motion here, maybe circles, maybe V motions, just getting out those little sticky spots we hide and carry stress, tension. So this can look like anything here, just finding more movement. <clears throat> and then gently we'll interlace knuckles behind our head. So coming into stillness, looking forward. Knuckles behind your low back, drive the knuckles to the ground, drop the head back, puff up your chest. And slowly leaning forward over your comfortable seat, belly over your thighs, let your forehead come down and send the knuckles overhead, roll shoulders back. So forehead could come to a prop, you might be hanging out in the air, or you could be all the way down to the ground, whatever feels okay to you. And slowly using the little core strength, come back up. Separate the hands, bring them in front of you. And then send the palms out wide, face up. Make some big circles here. Really big circles. Switch directions, palms down. And let the circles grow small. And then gently bring both palms to your shoulders, stacking elbows. Inhale, send elbows up high to the sky, look up. And exhale, round in, elbows to navel. Inhale, elbows to sky. And exhale, round in, seated cat cow variation. Extra gentle on the shoulders this morning. Keep moving like this. And switch the stack of the arms. Inhaling, elbows rise. Look up. And then exhaling, round in. Building a little bit of heat. And gently, one more. And release. We'll drop the right palm to the right side, send the left hand up overhead. Arc over to the right, anchor the left hip down. Get a nice side body stretch here. And relax your head. And slowly coming up right, switching sides, left palm comes down, right arm overhead. Arc over to the left, anchor your right hip down. And coming upright, relaxing hands, slide the palms down the thighs, roll your shoulders back a couple times. And gently swing the legs without using your hands, swing your legs out to the side. If you're on a prop, you can use your hands. <laughs> you're always welcome to use your hands. 
And here um, we'll send the right leg long, so the left foot to the right inner thigh, waking up the low back and the hamstring. You can keep a deep bend in this maybe begin or lower to the ground, micro bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist and fold forward. So here you can round your back and maybe you bring your knee to your forehead, finding the compression of the belly against the thigh and maybe only part of the belly is on the thigh here. You're welcome to stay here or slowly keeping contact with your head to your knees, slide your heel forward. And feel that stretch, low back, hamstring. Hands can come under the calf or around your foot. And if your leg is flat to the ground, pull your toes in towards your face, press your heel away from you. Breathing like you. And slowly coming upright. Take a little twist over the bent knee, look about over the back shoulder. And coming back to center, one more side bend, right palm to left thigh, and left arm up overhead. You might not go super deep. And your head might be hanging out in space, relax your neck. And if you're really warm, you might have your head all the way down to your knee and capture your heart. And if so, draw your heart forward, roll your shoulder back. Slowly come up, send left palm behind the low back, right arm reaches high, press up on the shin, stargazer, drop your head back. And then exhale, lower it down. Once more, inhale, press up, roll forward on the shin. And then exhale, lower it down, sending the left leg out to the side, so right foot comes to left inner thigh. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist and fold over the lengthened leg and maybe you hang out high up or low down to the ground. Bend in the knee or leg flat to the ground, up to you. Working higher, maybe forehead stays on the knee and you slowly straighten that leg down, same, same, different side. And discovering how different each side is and where we're at today. Inhaling for length. Exhaling to fold. Just breathing here, not rushing, not forcing. And slowly come upright with a little twist over the bent knee. Look over the back shoulder if you like. Coming back to center, left palm at the right thigh, right arm overhead, arc over to the left. Deeper in our side bend, maybe you capture the foot on this side. Maybe you stay upright, anchoring that right hip down. And slowly coming upright. Right palm comes behind the low back. Roll forward on the right shin. Press hips up. Left arm reaches behind your head. And then exhale, lower the hips. One more. Inhale, press up. Reach back. And exhale, lower it down. Send the right leg long for wide-legged forward fold. You're welcome to sit on a prop for this one, especially if you have low back pain. And you're welcome to take a deep bend in the knees or micro bend with something under the knees, pillows are nice, blocks are nice, or even a prop in front of you, like a pillow or a stack of pillows, maybe something just for the head. Well, inhale, reach up. I'm gonna exhale, fold with a flat back. So hinge at your hips, heart forward, fingertips come down, and then maybe you notice your depth and where you'd like to stay, feeling the sensation in the back, the hamstrings, maybe even the calves. And if you have the space, you might creep the hands a little more forward on your inhales, energetically sending the crown of the head forward, and then folding deeper on your exhale, or simply breathing deeper. 
And we all get the same benefits no matter how low to the ground you are. And just breathing. And slowly come up. And gently draw the soles of the feet together. Hands around your toes, draw your heels close into the pubic bone. Bounce your knees, sit up tall. Keeping some heat in the hips here. And a little wake up, a little fun waking up here. Really puff your heart forward. Keep bouncing and slow the bounce down. Gently hinge forward, keeping your hands around your toes. You can round your back or fold with the flat back. Elbows might come on top of the calves towards the knee creases or hands can slide down towards the ankles. Elbows actually in the knee creases, so whatever feels better here. And maybe the nose meets your toes today or your mouth. Feel the inner thigh stretch, low back release, a little bit of sensation in the abdomen. Relax your neck wherever you are. And slowly come upright. Send the feet a little further for a wide diamond. And here you can keep your hands on the tops of the feet or at the ankles or slide forearms underneath the calves, palms to top of the feet, weight of the calves on your forearms. And gently hinge forward and down. So forward and down, inhaling forward, exhaling, deepen, fold, and relaxing your head. Coming back to that six count breath, inhaling for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling six, five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing into it, feeling the outer hip stretch. Slowly come upright. Keep your left knee down. So send the left knee in front of you and down and the right foot can be either outside of the knee or inside the knee. So finding your depth where, it's, where both hips are grounded and we'll inhale, reach up. Right arm's gonna find the left knee. Left arm comes behind the low back and you'll find a little twist. So you could even Bring your hand outside the knee. It just depends on what feels good in your shoulders and your hips. And then gently twist, gaze over the back shoulder, twisting from your core. So inhale, find length, tall spine, exhale, twist. And the back palm, the palm behind the low back might come around and find the right hip crease. And breathing through it. And slowly unravel, take a little counter bow over the bent knee, anchor the left hip down. Inhale, press up and cradle the right shin. So you can bring the right foot into the elbow crease up towards your chest. Or maybe you hold your foot in your hand. And then we'll set the foot down, right knee comes down, left foot, the heel either inside or outside of the knee, just wherever you feel you have space. You can snuggle your foot a little closer. And then inhale, reach up, exhale, twist. So right palm, right knee, left arm behind the low back. We're gonna do two each side. And then here, feel a little more compression, a little deeper, tighter twist. Inhale from the crown of the head high. And then exhale, twist. So feeling the resistance of your arm against the knee, depending where your foot is. Just going a little deeper. 
And you're welcome to grab the inside of the hip crease once more. And gently unwind, grab the left foot with your hands or the elbow crease and give yourself a little cradle here. And then gently lower down. So left knee will come back down, right foot inside or outside of the knee. No inhale, reach up. And then exhale, twist to the right. So left arm finds right knee, or I mean left arm finds left knee, right arm behind you, looking over the right shoulder. Feeling a little compression here. We're taking the gentler version. Inhaling, reach up. And then exhale, twist. Maybe the palm finds the inside of the hip crease. And gently, slowly unravel, coming back to center. And here you might switch up the arm. We'll inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist just a little bend over the left side, little dip. Inhale, come up, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. So here, maybe your arms inside the knee and then finds the left knee. And that gives you a little more space or you go for that deeper version arm outside the knee or closer to your heart and then gazing over the back shoulder. Maybe you lift the hand up, find the hip crease, notice if you collapse, then bring the palm back down to the ground. Inhale, reach up, exhale, twist. So reaching through the crown of your head, twisting from the core, movement follows the gaze. And gently coming forward, unwind. And here we'll slide our shins forward, left shin down. And wiggle your foot forward and keep the right foot on either the thigh above the knee or the calf just below the knee. Maybe you slide the foot far down the calf. And if there's any discomfort, you can bring the heels um, in line or just a little staggered in front of you, letting hips open. So here you might have a big gap between the shins and a pillow, a blanket between there can be really nice or a towel, a sweatshirt. And that will cause a nice grounding sensation. Over time, the scap will close as the outer hip opens. And sitting with a tall neutral spine here, nice counter to our twist to just have a nice long spine, a little stillness. You're welcome to fold forward at hinging at the hips with a flat back and notice if there's any discomfort in the knees. If so, back off of the fold. Notice if the gap of the shins closes or begins to close. Once that gap is fully closed, folding deeper will feel more natural without any tension. So there's discomfort in the knees, back off the fold. Relaxing your hands wherever it feels nice to you. And gently we'll switch sides. You can find that foot cradle one more time if you like, foot in the elbow crease or in your hand. And switching sides, right shin down, left shin on top. So left foot just above the knee or along the calf or heels can be staggered on the ground. And so finding your depth here, your variation on this side, settle in, flex toes towards your knees. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Maybe experiment with that pillow or blanket underneath the shin if the knee is above the foot in the air. And feel yourself grounding, anchoring. 
maybe you begin to fold a little bit here, feeling that sensation in the hip. Slowly walking the hands towards the shins if you're folded. We'll cradle the left foot if you cradled the other foot. And gently lower the foot down. So both feet are in front of you. Bend both knees. So you're going to bring knees up, feet flat to the mat, heart and belly towards your thighs. Press your palms by your hips, roll shoulders back, puff up your chest, melt your heart and belly even closer into your thighs, squeeze your knees together, and then release your hands forward, keeping this height, fingers together, roll shoulders slightly back, and slowly straighten the heels uh, forward to the top of your mat. So here you can begin to fold, maybe bring hands to your calves or to your big toes with peace fingers. And slowly send the legs forward, heels forward, and lower the legs to the ground. Flexing toes into your face so much your heels lift off the ground. Draw your heart forward and walk your hips back a few times. So the hands can be at your calves or your feet. Walk your hips back a few times if you have the straight legs. And if you have a deep bend in the knees, just keep drawing your heart forward, elbows back. Elbows can come out to the sides. Heart leads the way. And slowly lower down. If you have the legs flat to the ground, lower down a little bit, but leading with your heart. And slowly release your hands, come upright. We'll make our way down to our back. So lower down one vertebrae at a time. Take a big morning stretch. Point your toes, reach behind you. And then gently draw your right knee into your chest. Interlace knuckles below the knee. Flex left toes towards your face. Feel your calf on the ground. And let the right knee fall outside the right ribs. Drawing the right knee towards your shoulder. Keep your elbows in close to your body. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel your long, long spine here. Keep pushing, pulling, and then gently draw the right shin to center. Drop the right foot on the ground, relax your hands, bump your hips to the right, sending the right leg up and over for a twist. Shoulders stay grounded, bending in the right knee. You're welcome to straighten the leg if you like. Maybe a pillow under the calf or the thigh is nice here. Let the knee fall towards the ground. Option to gaze over the right shoulder. Feeling your twist from the core. A little more here. You're welcome to glide the left heel towards the left glute. And maybe you just reach for the toes or maybe you capture the toes, one not better than the other, just depending how warm you are in the quad and the hip. And you can capture the toes on the lifted leg as well with a straight leg or find your hand at the calf or thigh. Slowly release your feet if you captured them, no slingshotting. Gently straighten the left leg, send the right leg up and over, bump your hips to center. Send the right leg long, draw the left knee into your chest, interlace fingers just below the knee, press your right heel away from you, flex toes towards your face. 
Then gently draw the left knee outside, left rib cage down towards left shoulder. Pushing with the right foot and pulling in the hands towards the left and down. So hands pulling that left knee down and up towards your shoulder. Feeling that length in the psoas. Lower abdominals. Chin into your chest. Slowly send your left knee to center, lower the left heel down. Bump your hips to the left, stacking left over right. Let the left knee come up and over. Option to put something underneath your leg, under the thigh or the calf, pillow or a block, bolster, couch cushion. Get creative with it. An option to use no props, of course. Option to look over your left shoulder. Feeling the difference on this side. And if you took the toes and the hands on the last side, I invite you to do so now on this side, slowly sending the right heel towards your right glute. Maybe left hand captures the right toes. And maybe you straighten the leg on the left side. The left leg could be bent or straight. And maybe you capture those toes, keep your shoulders grounded, not sacrificing our form for depth and always keeping the breath. So you might just bring your palm to your calf or your thigh. Preventing strain, letting go of force or attachment of outcome. Knowing your best yesterday is different than your best today and your best tomorrow. If you captured your toes, gently release them. Send the left leg up and over. Bump your hips back to center. Draw both legs in. So heels are close to each other, close to your glutes, knees in the air, let the knees fall left and right, side to side, windshield wiper, the knees side to side. And gently hook the right ankle above the left knee, left knee in the air. Let the right knee fall away from you. And notice the low back, if there's a big arc, between you and the mat, you can slide the left heel closer towards left glute and then feel the low back seal to the mat. So you can wiggle your foot forward back into until you feel comfortable in the low back. And it might just be a very subtle difference. Relaxing your hands anywhere that feels nice to you, maybe cactusing the arms around your head, feeling that open heart sensation. Open heart, open hips here. And gently, if you want a little more, send the knees towards your chest. So lift left foot off the ground and then interlace fingers behind left thigh. Press the right elbow into the knee crease of the right leg. Keep a bend in the left knee or straighten the left leg to the sky. And you can keep pulling with the strength of your arms, drawing the thighs in close to the chest. Flex your toes towards your knees. And slowly lower down, lower the left leg down, going into a twist, or if you'd like to stay upright, stay upright. We'll let the legs fall to the left. So sole of the right foot comes down and it's comfortable to have a pillow or a block under your foot. If you're not, you can always just wiggle that left foot a little closer to the center of your mat until the right foot comes down. So you might scoot your knees over just a smidge Relaxing here. 
I'm getting a little more in the quad and the lower abdominals here. Feeling the full body relaxed, grounded. And slowly roll over the edge of the left foot. So the sole of the foot comes down to the ground, wiggle your heel so it's in line with your glute, right knees in the air. And gently lower the right foot down, switching sides, left foot hooks above right knee on the thigh, let the left knee fall away from you or press it away from you. And you can scoot your heel even closer to your glute and feel the difference in the low back sensation. Relaxing here or taking the twist, or not the twist just yet. <laughs> Relax here with the knee falling away from you or send your um, leg up into the air. Interlace fingers behind the right thigh, left elbow into left knee crease, bending in the right knee or straighten the right leg, foot towards the ceiling. Flex your toes towards your knees. So flexing both feet. Pulling with the strength of your arms, thighs towards your chest. And slowly lower that right foot down. And then option, take the twist, send the left foot down to the ground. Wiggle the right foot towards the center of your mat until the knee comes down or just above the ground. Left foot flat on the ground. You might wiggle your right heel close to your glute to soften the knee. Feeling the quad release, a little twist in the core, lower abdominal release. Hands can relax anywhere, maybe on the belly, maybe that cactus arm shape. And breathing into it. Slowly roll the right foot to the left. So the foot is flat to the mat, left knee pops up. Wiggle your foot back to being in line with your glute. So right heel in line with right glute. And lower the left foot down. Draw both knees into your chest. Wrap forearms below your knees. Give yourself a squeeze like you're a little ball. Chin into your chest, hands at elbows or forearms two inches below the knees. Shoulders come down. Relax your feet, relax your face, jaw. Little compression in the abdomen here. You'll feel the belly relaxing, the breath relaxing, hips coming down, long spine. Gently make peace fingers, hook them around your big toes. Let the knees fall out wide for happy baby. Roll along the lumbar spine, low back. Little massage here. And draw the knees into the armpits. So pulling with the strength of your arms and you can puff your chest up here. Proud heart. Option to straighten one leg. Keeping a bend in the knee as you need, and then the other leg. And then maybe you straighten both legs, toes being pulled down towards your face, or flex the heels to the ceiling, toes towards your face. Bending as much as you need. And gently drawing knees in like a book. Stack your right knee under the left knee. So, left knee and right knee are in line, hands at your calves. 
draw your knees into your chest. You might feel this in the glute, the hip, the hamstring, a little bit of compression here. Flexing toes towards your face. And you can lift the hips up just a little bit if you like. And slowly switching sides, switch the stack of the knees, hands to shins or ankles. Flex toes towards your knees, towards your face. Pull knees into the chest, using the weight of one leg over the other. And breathe, feel the low belly draw in. And give yourself a little squeeze. Inhaling, then exhale, draw the thighs even closer. And slowly unwind, let the feet come down, knees out wide, windshield wiper the legs left and right, side to side. And even deeper in our quad stretch, let the legs land to the right. And when they do, wiggle the left foot towards the left side of the mat. Let the left knee come down center of your mat. Hook your right foot just above the left knee. Get a nice stretch in the psoas and the quad here. Like shoulders stay grounded. So your left foot might be off of your mat, left knee somewhere near the center of the mat, hovering or touching the mat. No pain in the knee here. So you might bring the foot higher up on the thigh or soften the angle, bringing the left foot closer into the mat. And it'll be like just a little wiggle of heel to the side of the foot. So a heel comes in and then with the ball of the foot at the side, just one little wiggle at a time, finding that angle. Letting this be a nice, slow release. And gently wiggle your foot to the center of the mat. And just slide your right foot down and find that windshield wiper motion, left and right, left and right, three times. Let the knees fall to the left and wiggle the right foot off of the mat. So it comes off the right side of the mat, right knee down towards the center of the mat or close to center. Hook the left foot just above the right knee on the thigh. You can slide it as high up on the thigh as you like. And then you'll feel right knee come down, lengthen the psoas and the quad even deeper in our stretch here. You can soften the angle by wiggling the foot in or out away from the mat <clears throat> and sliding that foot higher on the thigh. And just breathing. Wiggle the right foot to the center of the mat. <clears throat> Slide the left foot off the knee. Find that windshield wiper one last time, side to side. And then let knees fall in, knock them together, step the feet to the outer edges of the mat, low back release here, like a little tent. You might scoot heels close into the glutes. Feet, toes, tracking to the top of the mat, maybe slightly pigeon-toed in. Relax your hands at your sides.
And gently send the feet closer together, heel toe them in, knees tracking forward, toes tracking forward, relax hands by your hips, face down. And notice here, tilting your pelvis forward and back a couple of times if the low back seals to the ground. If it does not, you might step the heels closer to your glutes, reassuring, checking that toes track forward, knees track forward. And if the low back seals to the ground, keep it there. Feel your breath rising and drawing in, low back stays where it is. We'll take two rounds of bridge. You're welcome to take a block underneath you for supported bridge. If you're using a block, it'll go to your sacrum, fleshy part, top of your butt. All together, we'll inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, press hips up. And staying through the exhale, relax into it. Little to no weight in your neck. Knees forward, toes forward, hips up. If you're on your block, you're welcome to stay there for both rounds. And slowly we'll lower down one vertebrae at a time on your exhale, taking your time to come down. Tilt your pelvis forward and back a few times. Inhaling, press up when you're ready for your second round. And then a few arm options, maybe interlace knuckles underneath you tucking the shoulders slightly under, or washing the palms forward and back like you're painting a fence. Maintaining the strong core, strong lift, strong spine, and coming to stillness when you're ready. Lowering down on the next hill as you're ready. Once you lower down, Come to stillness, knock knees in together, step feet out wide like that little tent and feel the release. You're welcome to take knees into your chest like a little ball once more, giving yourself a squeeze. Feel the low back releasing. And if you're on your supported bridge coming out, take your time out. Meet us when you're ready. Gently lower the legs down if you had your arms around your shins. Let knees fall out wide, soles of the feet together for supine butterfly. Relaxing hands at your sides or one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. You're welcome to slide a prop underneath the back and the head here if you like. And settling into your butterfly, your cocoon. observing anything that stands out to you. And coming into your breath, coming back to that six count breath, inhaling for one, two, three, four, five, six, exhaling six, five, four, three, two, one. Once more, inhaling one, Two, three, four, five, six, exhaling, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing naturally. 
And you're welcome to stay here or choose any shape for your final resting posture. Some nice options can be to send the legs long for a traditional Shavasana with or without props, knees under, uh, knees on top of a block or a pillow, or maybe torso on top of a couple blocks, a tall block and a low block or a bolster. And if you're near a wall, you're welcome to take legs up the wall. And if you do so, you'll bring your hips up directly against the wall. Spin your butt towards the wall. So your glutes are touching the wall and then send your legs straight up in the air, heels at the wall. And you'll notice there may be a gap between the thighs and the calves. And to do um, this with more depth of comfort, you might lift the hips up just like in bridge and then snuggle with the arms close in to the wall and then slide the legs all the way down. So legs have full contact against the wall, low back flat to the ground and legs straight up or out wide, you decide. And you can always take the butterfly at the wall as well. So finding your shape, settling in, feeling your full body relax. And if you're still making adjustments, no hurry. Letting it be natural, nourishing. Wherever you are, gently squeeze your whole body. Tense up your whole body, inhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release. Once more, inhale, squeeze your whole body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything you got. Exhale, let it all go. Feeling the weight of your body in the ground. Feeling heaviness and lightness all at once. Feeling the toes relax. Soles of the feet relax. Tops of the feet, relax. Ankles, relax. Heels, relax. Full feet, relax. Shins, relax. Calves, relax. Back of the knees, relax. Front of the knees, relax. Quads relax, hamstrings relax, whole thighs relax, inner thigh relax, groin relax, outer hips relax, glutes relax. Lower abdomen, relax. Low back, relax. Side body, relax. Belly, relax. Back, relax. Low back and mid back, relax. Full abdomen, relax. Chest, relax. Upper back, relax. Shoulder blades, relax. Shoulders, relax. Upper arms, relax. 
elbows relax, forearms relax, wrists relax, palms relax, top of the hands relax, fingers relax. Full hands relax. Tops of the shoulders relax. Neck relax. Throat relax. Jaw relax. Base of the skull relax. Tongue relax. Mouth relax. Nose relax. Cheeks relax. Ears relax. Back of the head relax. Sides of the head relax. Temples relax. Eyes relax. Space between the brow relax. Brows relax. Forehead relax. Full face relax. Crown of the head relax. Mind relax. Full body relax. Gently, you're welcome to stay here resting. Or if you're ready to continue with your day, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And if it's safe in the shape you chose, rock your head side to side. If you're truly ready to move on, make your way to one side. And if you're at the wall, just bend in the knees and roll to that side. Using your arm as a pillow or an actual pillow with a bend in the knees. Feel your body heavy to the ground. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Slowly, if you're moving on, press yourself up with your hands. Coming to a comfortable seat just as we began. Letting yourself arrive, feeling the low body root down. And notice if you lean forward or back, right or left, draw yourself to center. Inhaling, send palms up overhead, reach up, palms touch. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, thumbs to the sternum. I invite you to reflect on any intention you may have set for today's practice and or to revisit the offered intention of just being in the moment, coming into the breath when you lose sight of the moment. Wrapping up our thoughts. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and showing up for yourself. May this energy stay with you throughout your day and have a fantastic day. Together we bow. Namaste.